Welcome back everybody to another video on this 91 Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. So in the last video, I uh, showed you guys that we were having a bit of a little knocking sound and I was going to go with replacing the lifters, but I decided to just leave it alone, put it back together. And I was going to see if I could figure out something else with the that knocking sound that it was. Like... I went through checking these lifters and they all seemed fine, didn't seem like it was any of those lifters. Me and my buddy Tony came across a video that uh, showed a guy that had a similar problem. He replaced uh, all the lifters, he replaced both uh, intake gears, the, the he replaced the um, VTC solenoids, still had the same like ticking and knocking sound up in the, in the heads. and his issue ended up being something with the oil pan, that the oil pan was dented and was dented right where the oil pickup tube is at. So I decided I was gonna put this all back together and then take the oil pan off and figure out if maybe I had an issue down there because originally, if any of you guys remember that I had my oil pan welded because it was leaking. Uh, well, actually, when I got under there, I saw that the oil pan was leaking again, and so deciding to just take the oil pan off, check all the bearings again, make sure that we didn't, we don't, make sure they didn't miss anything, and maybe if I did miss something, I can fix it while I'm there, just replace a bearing, or pull the engine, and, uh, you know, then completely tear down and rebuild, but, um, yeah, take the oil pan off. Replace the oil pan. I have two other oil pans. They're NA oil pans, but I can, I can uh, have those uh, made to work with this. I can modify those, and they could work uh, just like the twin turbo oil pan. So, anyways, we're not gonna worry about this today. This car, uh, I'm gonna have to drop the the subframe. I'm not. I don't feel like pu pulling the engine. Right now. I'm gonna drop the subframe. I'm gonna. Um, Take the oil pan off and check it with the engine in the car. But I'm not going to worry about this car today. Uh, I'm just going to stay, stay there for a little bit. What I want to see today is what happened to this engine. This is the engine that was in the car, the one that blew. I know that two cylinders, it was, let's see, center cylinder over here and the same one on the other end, on the other head, I mean. Both of those uh went bad one for sure got destroyed because there were pieces in the in the oil pan when uh when i took it all apart but one had no compression one had low compression i think this one had low compression this one had no compression so i'm gonna take the heads off and see what we find the other thing that i want to do with this is pretty much take it all apart and see what what I can keep off of this and then just junk whatever I don't need. So maybe the block is okay. More than likely it's not. If we got a good crank, put the crank away. I can use it for another engine. Maybe one of these heads is good. I think one of the, I think whatever head uh, was on the side that, um, that had the, the, the piston or cylinder that got destroyed is probably going to be bad, but we'll see. We'll find out. We'll see what, what actually happened. So we're going to tear this all down keep what we need, see what we find, and and then, yeah, junk whatever we don't need. All right, so what we're doing next is gonna be removing the lower intake. After we remove the lower intake, we can take the heads off. Um, I had already taken these cam caps off because uh, uh, I took the cams off so that I could get to the lifters because I was gonna swap them out on the other engine, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Not worried about that yet. Since the oil pan is uh, is leaking and is dented, I really want to try that that route first. Since I can take the uh, oil pan off, swap it out, but while the oil pan's off, we can check to see if I missed any anything uh, in the bottom end. Meaning, like if I missed a bearing that was bad or something, we could find it. And you know, then if there were a bad bearing, we're just gonna pull the engine out and do a rebuild. But for now. Lower intake off, heads off. We'll see what kind of damage we had and then see what kind of parts we could still salvage from this engine.
Also, let's not forget that you have on each head, you have a 10 millimeter bolt on, I think on that one's the rear, this one's the front. So when you try and uh, take the head off, don't forget to take that 10 off because then your head won't, you'll never be able to take the head off. So you can see there's obvious damage. This one, I'm looking pretty bad. That's the one that I had no compression. This one didn't look too bad. You know what, this one, I think this one, this one had no damage. This one just had trash from right now when I took the head off. I think the craziest thing is that this one this is all stock stuff, and this is all stock stuff. It's a stock head gasket. This thing was holding up pretty well. I don't see any spots that was showing signs of it like blowing through for a blown head gasket. This one we can see that it got screwed up, but uh, it's just right here, this edge and this edge. There you can see where it blew out right there. Not so much this side, but that side, big time. I mean, you can obviously see the damage right here, but this is the one that had no compression. It looked like it was right here too, but I think that was just the shadow right now that I had the light off. So now we'll take this head off. This one's gonna be the one with the most damage. All right, ready? Let's see what we find. Huh, really? Huh, we had silicone stuck in there. What the hell? So this one, this one had really low compression. Huh, I wonder what got destroyed then. I wonder if it was just the, this piston. Well, you can see that piston, that one. This one had a lot of, had a lot of little dings on it. This one was the one that had low compression, but, um, we can see a little spot right there where it's kind of like dark. This side too where it's all black, but uh, don't really see too much damage right here. The only thing that was odd to me was that there was this piece of silicone right here. And I never use this type of silicone, so, or whatever the hell this is, it looks like just a piece of silicone. Yeah, but I don't use that one. I always use the gray one. So if it would have been my fault, it would have been the gray one. But I know that we didn't we didn't open this this engine apart ever. Well, let's see. Maybe maybe we could still do something with this block then, if it's not too messed up underneath. But I found a lot of chunks. <laughs> I found quite a bit. I think I still have them actually. Here we go. I mean, there were more than this, but this is what I found in the oil pan. There were a few other pieces that I just threw away, but these are the bigger pieces that I found. So something's messed up under there. So we're just gonna have to keep keep going, see what we find. What I gotta do next is flip the engine around and uh, take the oil pan off so that we can get all the, the main caps and uh, rod caps off. But I mean, once we do that, we should be able to see what's going on underneath this one. I remember taking the oil pan off this, obviously because I used it, it's the one that's on the car now, but I never actually looked to see what was in there. I just took it off and put the engine off to the side. So, all right, we'll keep going, see what we, 
what else we find? I thought I was gonna find a completely destroyed engine like this cylinder and the other one were just gonna be like in pieces. And in the head, I was able to see like some little pieces in there. So kind of surprised I didn't find, you know, a meltdown and a destroyed one. Oh well, we'll keep going. I, I'll show you guys the head in a little bit once, probably once I'm done with this, but the, the, the head side where the spark plug's at, that got melted. Oh, some muddy water. Oh, wow, that's leaking. Let me take a look at it. All right, let's see if we can tip it over some more. Oh, that's a bunch of dirt. I can't really see much. Everything looks fine. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off the the rod bearings and main bearings and then uh, we'll see how the crank is. Hopefully we've got a good crank. All the mains look good. I need to check the cap, but I mean, it looks fine right here. So now we just gotta turn this. Well, it's like, I'm gonna have to turn it around a few, a few times to get all the caps off. And then we can pull the crank out. Okay, I guess we might as well take the pictures out. Damn, this thing's heavy. As far as I can see, this crank is good. So, now that I clean the cylinders, you can see where the damaged cylinder, I couldn't really see when the, when it had, it had like oil and dirt from when I took the head off, but you could obviously see that it got damaged there, but this, it doesn't really, like this right here, I can't even feel it. You can obviously feel this, but this doesn't really feel like it damaged the cylinder. This just looks like like some of the stuff from the, from the piston that got stuck right there. But like if I scrape at it, it's like falling off. Well, anyways, this I may keep and may uh, see if we can use this block. Crank for sure is good. That one looks fine. Let me show you guys the piston that was in that cylinder that let loose. That's this one. Those are the chunks that I found in the oil pan, which really, I don't know why I thought I was thinking it was gonna be way worse, but I mean, it, it is still bad, but I was expecting way worse. The rest of these are okay. They're, they look like they got heated up too, but none of them, uh, like this one, ooh, this one feels really tight uh, up here in the, the wrist pin area. And let's see, this one, yeah, this one too. This one feels fine. This one too, I think it's just, Two that feel two two that feel like crap in the wrist pin and then the one that let go right where the rings are at. So had to have been heat for sure. 
especially with discoloration. Um, girdle's fine. This head is fine. Um, I no this this lower intake screwed. That one broke on me. Well, it didn't break on me. I broke it. And then this is the head, which I'm sure this could probably be fixed still, but I don't see why I would. I still have, uh, I have another block that has good head, so I could use that if I really wanted to put another engine together. But you can see this one is the one that had low compression, which is kind of crazy, right? This one had low compression, the other one had no compression. I thought this one would have, since the, the plug was all melted down, I thought that this one was gonna have a cylinder that was melted down, but that cylinder was fine. So that's what we got. That's the damage. This can probably still be fixed, but more than likely won't fix this. Probably just gonna keep that block and the crank and see what, what I can do with the block and the crank in the future. And the rest of this is gonna, well, maybe I'll keep this one head. But the rest of it is just gonna be trash. I'm starting to accumulate way too much, way too much junk. So I'm gonna be trying to get rid of as much as, much as I can. And this oil pan is gonna be the one I'll be using on, on the car. So probably the next video, I'm gonna be taking the, the cell frame down and uh, seeing what I, uh, what I find, maybe it's, maybe some bearings are bad on that one too. Maybe uh, it's just the oil pan that's uh, restricting oil flow. That's, maybe it's right where the, it's right on the, on the pickup tube. I'm not too sure, because when I, when I put the oil pan on, I swear that it went on easy, but mm, I don't know. I don't remember, you know, I could have messed up. So we'll find out. But that'll be on the next video. So until then, hope you guys are enjoying these. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.